What's up everybody, this is Aaron from Flex Machine Tools. In a previous video that we shared, we discussed the setup process for some fixture plates that we were gonna use to process a 20 foot long uh, flat bar that we were gonna use for setting up our water jets over in the assembly area. If you did not have an opportunity to check out that video, just go ahead and click on this link up here in the corner and uh, check out the setup video for those fixture plates. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the process of running those 20 foot bars on our Flex CNC. So what we're gonna discuss in this video is kind of the process that we took to uh, machine these plates. This is three quarter by six, 836 steel that we're gonna load up on our Flex CNC G-Series machine. And, and what these plates are gonna be used for, we're gonna put a, a whole line of holes through them, uh, 259 holes actually, throughout this plate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use those holes and anchor the, the plates down to the floor over in our assembly area. And what we're gonna do is anytime the, the assembly team is assembling the water jets for our customers, instead of having to anchor the machine to the floor to finalize the assembly process and, and you know get all the software on the water jets, what we're gonna do is just take the, the frame of the water jet and clamp it down to these plates that are anchored to the floor to, to finalize the assembly process. What this is gonna allow us to do is kind of make that transition process for our assembly team, you know, getting machines in and out of the doors a lot quicker and a lot easier for them. So what we're going to do is these are 20 foot long. Um, as I mentioned, now our, our Flex CNC G series, this is our demo machine that we have on our shop floor. This is a 20 foot machine. So kind of getting in the, this part in and out of the machine uh, is a little difficult. I would definitely recommend, you know, if, if you are running parts that are this long in, you know, production, I would definitely look at, you know, getting a more customized length that best suits your needs. So I did have to kind of get the plate up underneath the, the gantry there a little bit to get it on the fixture plates that we machined in one of the last videos that I mentioned before. So here I'm getting the plate in and, and the, all of the holes that we drilled on those fixture plates were just kind of access points that allowed me to put um, these toe clamps that you're seeing here just really anywhere that deemed fit at that particular location. So here we are, we got the plate loaded up. You see all the clamps down along the side there. Um, I believe those fixture plates are about, you know, maybe six to eight inches apart. Now's where we're getting into the, the drilling. Again, we're going to put 259 holes in this thing. We do have some that are counterboard for the anchor spots. The other ones are going to be for the, the through holes. And uh, so what we did is we teamed up with our good friends over at Allied. They kind of helped us out select the right tool. Um, you know, initially we were kind of looking at the TA Pro, but definitely switching that decision over to the structural Gen 3 XT Pro was a great decision. The chip formation coming off this drill was great. We were able to drill four of these plates, again, with 259 holes each. And, you know, after looking at the insert, we were able to drill all four plates. And after looking at the insert, you know, this thing looked like, you know, we hadn't really done much drilling with it. Um, the insert looked great. We definitely could get a lot more use out of it. So the, the drill ran great. The machine, you know, handled everything just like we thought it would. So yeah, this was, uh, a nice project for us. Again, this is something that's going to help our assembly team over on the water jet side, being able to load and unload the machines in and out of the shop much faster. So again, um, we thank our team or our, our partners over at Allied for helping us out with this project. You know, we hope you enjoyed uh, everything that you saw here. I'm sure we'll be seeing more videos in the future. We are utilizing our Flex CNC and even our water jets with these plates. So hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you next time.